In today's video, I will be sharing Christmas DIYs from 1960s tree ornaments to chalk contour and to other variety of different DIYs. In this first DIY, I took this uh, window clings from Dollar Tree, antique wax, Waverly chalk paint in white, some raffia, and these two wood plaques that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to start off by painting them with the white Waverly chalk paint. Okay, now that they're dry, I'll take uh, one of these window clings and I'm going to take some of this Elmer glue stick and apply it to the back and then place it on top of the wood frame or the wood piece. I love these little um, window clings. They look so um, antique from like 1950, 1960s. I just love the look of them. Now I'm taking the other wood uh, plank and I'm going to apply the little deer um, the same way. And uh, I, I just think these are so adorable and so uh, from like the old time era. Um, I knew as soon as I seen these window clings exactly what I wanted to do. So now I'm going to take the Mod Podge and I'm going to apply it over the top of the images and um, this is going to adhere them to the wood plank and uh, it's also waterproof too. So my first thought was I was going to use some raffia and a little bit of the uh, Dollar Tree ribbon and then as I was looking at these in person um, I just thought they were just authentic the way they were. I just didn't want to add anything to it. No, in love. So now the Mod Podge is dry. I'm going to take my scissors and just cut off the edges that are overhanging. I'm going to take some of this antique wax and I'm just going to lightly apply it around the edges of the wood circles or the wood ornaments and then um, apply uh, the antique wax along the sides and then a little bit on the front to distress it. I think adding this antique wax to it, it just gives it that old time charm. And that's what it looks like with the antique wax on it. I think it looks so cute. Now here's where I was deciding to do like a little bow or a little ribbon with the raffia. Let me know in the comments below if you would have added it to it. I just think it looks... Uh, natural and uh i mean back in the 1950s 60s they didn't have all these fancy fancy stuff um so i'm taking just a basic little string and i'm going to hot glue it in the back so this way you can either hang it on a tree or hang it on the wall because like i said back in the 50s 60s they didn't have all these fancy types of uh hanging things that we have today so i just made it as authentic as i can So I just added a little hot glue to the little strings and um, I think it came out really cute. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Got grew stronger each day we're together on the way oh, we're falling in love to me it's perfectly clear we're falling in love it's true this part of the year has something Store for us. 
Okay, for this DIY, I'm going to be using my chalk contour for the very first time. I just got it in the mail and I thought I would try it. So I'm going to be using this transfer Silver White Winters. I thought it was pretty. And the chalk contour came with this uh, little um, wood image. Oh, not wood image. Oh my God. Wood plaque. So the instruction says I should take it out of the package and apply it on here a few times, I guess, to take the stickiness off. Now I'm going to apply it on here and um, cross my fingers that it turns out okay. This, Like I said, this is my first time using it, so uh, trial and error, I guess. So this Christmas kit that I ordered um, comes with everything, basically. Um, if you're interested, let me know. So I'm taking um, the color silver that it came with, and I'm just applying it on top where the words are. And then um, I guess you got to scrape it off. So <laughs> like I said, I'm just learning. So, um, you know, even though I read the directions, you know, you still got to be skeptical if you're doing it right. So once I applied it, I'm just like scraping it off and putting the rest of the paint on the little plate. Um, you're supposed to be able to save it, but it comes in these little packets. I don't really know how I'm gonna put it back in the packet. Um, but anyways, um, so now I'm gonna go to the next color. I picked uh, white and I'm gonna apply that next. Now these kits come with the little packets of um, a lot of colors actually and then the white you'll see right there the white jar that's the biggest um, color that I received in this kit everything else is in little packets but from what I understand those little packets uh, go a long way because you really don't need much. So I decided to use the red for the little bird because it's more Christmassy so that's what I'm using right now. So the lines um, in between the colors were kind of close, so I just had to make sure that I wasn't like running into the colors. Now the final reveal. Let's take it off and see how it looks. I think it really came out awesome for the very first time using this. That's how easy using Chop Contour is. It's amazing. The end results are so beautiful. So I'm going to be using this fake snow that I got from Dollar Tree <clears throat> and Mod Podge. I'm going to apply the Mod Podge and then the fake snow over the top. Now I'm just pouring out the fake snow over the top of it. Um, Trying to get enough on the sides in front of it as well. I think the fake snow really makes this uh, little sign come to life and it's very festive looking. So now I wanted to add some uh, fake snow to the top of the sign because it was kind of plain on top. So I just add a little Mod Podge and pour the fake snow over the top and a little bit in front as well. Look how pretty it looks. It looks so awesome. I love it. I am so impressed how this came out. For my very first time using Chalk Contour, I'm going to repeat myself. <laughs> now I'm going to take these Dollar Tree tiny Christmas tree and I'm going to place one on each end. Now I'm taking one of these little uh, pine cones that I got from Dollar Tree, they come in a bag, and I'm gonna hot glue it down in front as well. So 
So I'm hot gluing down the other tree on the other end and I will take another pine cone and place one in between. So I'm adding a little bit of Mod Podge to the pine cones so this way I can uh, put a little bit of fake snow on top of that as well and that will set it off and it looks amazing. So I'm just adding the leftover snow and pouring it over the top making sure that it does get inside those pine cones. And this is the end results. You gotta let me know if you guys like this in the comments below. I think it looks amazing. Okay, next DIY, I took these beautiful lights that I got from Christmas Tree Store and this beautiful glass, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, a vase, and the wood round that I got from Dollar Tree and this paper that I got from Hobby Lobby and this deer from Dollar Tree. And then the stick I got from Christmas Tree Store that came like with a fence. Now I'm going to trace the deer on the craft paper and then I'm going to cut it out. Now that's all cut out, I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to take a little glue and place it down. I was going to use the Mod Podge, but I figured because it had that glitter stuff that it just wouldn't hold very well. So I just used the hot glue. So now I'm just placing it down and making sure that it fits right and uh, if I have to make any adjustments. Now I'm taking this black glitter paper, scrap paper that I have, and just going to cut out a piece for his little hoof. I believe they're called. <laughs> I want to make his little uh, hoofs uh, black. So I'm just tracing out his little hoof and then I will cut it and it actually has like little um, self-adhesive paper that I can just uh, apply it. I don't need to apply any hot glue. So now I'm applying it to his back hoof and then I will be applying it to the front one as well. I like this plaid paper. I think it's very Christmassy, but I needed to, to break up, you know, his feet area. <laughs> so I figured the black would uh, definitely uh, look very nice. And this is how it looks so far. I think it looks really great. Now I'm taking this uh, black chalkboard paint and I'm going to paint his antlers. Um, I didn't want to leave it red like that. I wanted to break it up. Once the paint dries on his antlers, I'm going to be adding um, black glitter to it just to make it look real, I don't know, sparkly or Christmassy if you want to call it that. So I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to work on the stick and I'm going to paint that black as well. I'm going to take this wood round and paint it black. So now everything's dry. I'm going to put everything together. I'm going to take the little round wood, wood round and um, some fix-all glue and I'm going to place a little bit on the bottom with a little bit of hot glue. Now I'm placing the glass tube over the stick onto the little round wood base. Now I'm going to take this white fabric that I got in the automotive department at Dollar Tree and I cut a little piece out. I'm going to wrap it around his neck like a little scarf and put a little hot glue. I think the white scarf looks really cute. It breaks up the plaid and the black antler. Now I'm just hot gluing down uh, the little scarf and I'm going to take this black and white 
checkered ribbon that I got from Dollar General and just cut a little piece out and I'm just gonna like make it look like a tiny little uh, bow and just hot glue it to the front. Now I'm going to be using this little red berry that I took off one of the Dollar Tree florals and just going to hot glue it to the front to get a little bit of color. These little deers, you can do a lot with them. You can change them up. You could put a material on it, anything like that. Um, I think they're so cute, like up against like a beautiful Christmas tree on the side. You can do two of them and that's exactly what I'm going to do um, this Christmas. I'm using Mod Podge and I'm going to apply it on the antlers because I'm going to be using the glitter and um, a little bit of the fake snow on top as well just to make it look like uh, the deer got stuck in a storm. <laughs> so I'm just pouring out the glitter on the antlers and uh, I decided to go with the black because I thought it would uh, just go better with the plaid. Um, I was going to do gold but then I was like I don't think so. So I'm using a Dollar Tree uh, fake snow and I'm just going to put a little bit on the antlers just uh, I don't know, it's just, I think it looks cute. It looks like uh, snow got on his antlers. Okay, so now I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm going to place the deer on the little stick and um, sorry it's not in view. I try to do the best I could so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to take these Dollar Tree crystals and I thought to put them at the bottom because with the light shining, I think it would uh, make it sparkle and I think it would look really pretty. I think this really came out beautiful. I'm really in love with this project that I did. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know. And this is the final results. All right, last DIY, I took this Dollar Tree frame. I printed this out on my printer. I just typed in snowman on Google and uh, I found this really cute image in a Dollar Tree stick and this red fabric that I got from Hobby Lobby and the Dollar Tree little sticky ornaments. So I'm gonna place the image in the frame. I'm just taking the backing off and I'm not gonna glue it or anything. I'm just gonna place it in loosely because it'll be a, a perfect fit the way I cut it. Now this is part of the image that I cut out and I'm just going to place it at the bottom of the frame. It's like the window hinge. I'm going to use the Dollar Tree um, spray adhesive and uh, it works pretty good. This is really a cute um, little frame with the snowman. I mean, you can Google any type of image and it's like high quality. I mean, you can buy these things at Kohl's or Hobby Lobby or any of those type of stores. And really you're paying like what, a dollar, two dollars at Dollar Tree and nobody would know the difference. Look how beautiful it looks. So I'm gonna make like a little curtain. So I'm gonna take this Dollar Tree stick, this fabric and my hot glue gun and I'm just going to glue um, the stick down to the fabric. So I'm just putting a line of hot glue and I'm going to take the stick, place it on the hot glue and then I'm going to place another line of hot glue in front of, after I roll it in front of it and then this will tightly secure it in place. 
So I'm going to make like pleats in the curtains and I'm going to use the hot glue and I'm just pinching it and putting the hot glue in between it and just going down um, the curtain and just, um, I think I did like four or five pleats. I mean, it's not the perfect pleats, but um, if you can sew, it'd probably be better. So I'm just making sure that, you know, it's um, long enough. I'm just finishing the last pleat and then I will be applying it to the frame. All right, so I'm gonna take the frame and I'm gonna take the little curtain I made and I'm gonna apply a little bit of hot glue and um, apply the curtain. And I think this really sets off this cute little picture. What do you guys think? Oh my God, it's so adorable. So I'm just gonna add a few little snowflakes um, to the sides of the little picture frame just to give it a little more Christmassy feel. And um, then I'm gonna take two of the little red um, bows and put them at the top. Oh, this came out so adorable. I love this little picture frame. You could put it on your table or you can hang it on your wall. It's so festive and so Christmassy. Guys, let me know what you think. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my Christmas video as much as I enjoyed making them. And once again, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate it. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye. I can see them now. It's like they spell your name.